Japan, lightweight aggregates can have a longer span. These are things that we can go into. So in brief, even the recent history of development of bridges has proved to the hilt that Fresenay's seven years of ordeal did not go in vain. Continuing efforts to expand its scope of application has led to growingly imaginative and futuristic forms of construction. Futuristic forms of construction. Now you hold your heart, I'm going to show you things that you would never imagine. That's a bridge taken through a building. They bought the three floors, insulated them, put the bridge through. This was later, the connection across. Thanks to Priestess Country. This is a bridge and where you see between one end of the bridge and the other end of the bridge you see water, that's where the navigation span is. So they wanted to put a, put a navigation span across but at a great height so that the ships of certain mast height would be able to go. Environmentalists rightly intervened, they said no we will not allow that, this, that and the other and after a lot of discussion this bridge goes down, becomes a tunnel, goes up comes up at the other end, so that the navigation is through without the bridge, without that top, top span bridge. This is a bridge carrying river over a river. And as long as the depth of water in the bridge above is more than the draft required by the boat, you don't have to design the bridge for the weight of the boat, because the buoyancy takes care. Another one, somebody is very busy. And now some of the most fascinating examples, now not too much, another maybe 10 minutes, most fascinating examples of futuristic bridge architecture, the structures that can be considered a destination. You go to that bridge, you're not using the bridge for going from A to B, you are, using, you are going to that bridge because you just want to be on that bridge and see the bridge. It's a destination. And these are some things. Not this one. The soaring bridges of engineer, one, he's today's one of the best, Santiago Calatrava, Spanish, is one of the most sought after Spanish bridge architects. Today his works are dynamic, reflecting our modern age. They also possess the uplifting harmony of sweeping curves and intricate shapes. His sundial bridge at Turtle Bay in the US is an interesting in interestingly shaped, somewhat futuristic bridge which doubles as a sundial. It was recently built near Redding, California. Now you can see a better shape of that here. In Delhi right now, something similar is under construction. But this costs six times the normal cost, normal bridge. But if you want to have a signature bridge, you pay through your nose. His Alamila bridge in Seville, Span, uh, Spain, the one I just showed you. Calatrava also applied his soaring spread wing style to the footbridges of Milwaukee, Milwaukee Art Museum in the US. This is the Spa uh, Science City in Spain, at Seville, at Seville in Spain. I'll show you this in great detail, greater detail although nothing really comes close to the city of arts and sciences that designed by, uh, for Valencia, Valencia, not, 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 not the one I mentioned, for Spain, the con culmination of his highly elegant style, you can see this. Look at the piers. They're just toothpicks ultimately. What is this? <laughs> and then the buildings behind had to be redesigned in order to suit his curves. And you have to see this, this one of the tourist spots. People go there, they're taken by the tourist agencies and they're given two hours to just look around. This is Kalatrava. You just don't know where they start from, emanate from, what is, where is it? You know, the, you can see the load going down to almost a point. And the, what is the bearing pressure? You know, by the way, what is the bearing pressure under a lady's high heel? It is somewhat similar. It's the same as the pressure under an elephant's foot because the diameter of that heel at the bottom is less than six millimeter quarter inch. That's what happens, and he has done that. The double spiral bridge in Japan, 
which is this. Uh, the busy route, whatever, the winding down, etc., is this one. They had to, mm, they were told not to cut a single tree. So they had to do the great separation from bottom or the top by doing that without going through the hills and cutting the trees. Then this was copied by the Chinese. This is this bridge and Chinese is coming. That's it. Yeah. Nampu Bridge with spiral approach. Similar spiral way in Huangpu River across of South Dock in Shanghai. And then this same thing in at, at night. Then the JK Bridge across the Paranova Lake, Brazil. The spiral bridge, there's not much in it, but here it is. And then some of the concepts, the futuristic concepts, they stretch beyond the boundaries of imagination. This is the South Korean bridge. You visit the bridge, you don't use the bridge to go elsewhere. And you reach the bridge by water taxis, because the bridge contains everything. Theatres, museums, markets, libraries, everything. I don't have the pointer. What the heck shall I... I want to throw it away, this damn thing. This is the... You see the... Mm, the those are the points where the water taxis take you to. And that's the bridge. And that's one of the shots of this. And this... It has got IT offices, museums, libraries, everything. Then here is a bridge with solar panels to generate energy. London Bridge, oh, I'll show you that. London Bridge across, now this is an artist's impression, it's not been built yet, but it is something that tells you, you can build vertical farms at bridge sites, which will give you all the produce of the market, of the village, to send to the market, which is this. Chetpur Architects, it was their proposal. Then the informal bridge city for Italy. Now this is something. A long portal bridge, disused now for traffic, but good enough for the loads from the residences. See? You have to, your address will be coordinates X, Y, Z. And then those afraid of heights would want to stare clear of the jazz studios, the city in a bridge concept modeled after the Ponte Vecchio in Florence, Italy. It was created for a contest that aims to identify a creative new use for a decommissioned highway between Salerno and Reggio Calabria in Italy. The proposal places a precarious new urban center onto existing infrastructure to not only provide amazing views, but have an impact upon the ecology of the surrounding landmass. Now, this one, this one, this is Spence. No, this is, this will never be built. The status of the project is unclear. It can, they say, completion date 2015, today is 2016. Then the Dubai thing. The architect here is Zoha Hadid. She's an Iraqi architect, settled in England, does excellent work, is world famous. She was commissioned as consultant for the Tokyo Olympics 2020, but, uh, and she has given such beautiful sweeps of curves and full drawings and everything, but after three, four years into business, the Japanese cancelled her contract because they said it's impossible to build. It's because that's the trouble with the architect. They just draw something. Then the poor structural designer has to worry about how to. And he makes all sorts of assumptions solving an, a problem that didn't exist. So this is Zaha Hadid. And then this is the Dubai. This was designed by New York firm FX Fowl. Awe-inspiring concept forever, but the Sheikh Rashid bin Said bridge is due for completion very soon. 
It will have an hold your breath. It will have 12 passenger lanes, a dual rail track for Dubai's Metro Green Line, and a man-made island with an opera house, and will carry some 20,000 vehicles per hour. Then the solar wind concept. They say the bridge is always across a gap where there's enough wind, so why not generate the energy? That's how it is. Because large-scale wind power may necessitate putting turbines in unex unexpected places, including over rivers and valleys that are often wind corridors. So even if this particular design of a wind turbine bridge, which also has a grid of solar cells embedded on the surface of the road, isn't entirely realistic, it's an interesting concept. The designers say the bridge could power as, me, as many as 1,15,000 homes. Then the living bridge towers over the Seine across, uh, in Paris. Now here you really need X, Y, Z. Maybe including the fourth dimension, time. When will you reach there? <laughs> the designer is Nicola Macchi of uh, Italy. The building is integrated with the Seine, becoming a new landmark and offering the historic center the development of the most varied programmi programmatic elements, including recreational, cultural, residential, and performing spaces. The new bridge for the city is a living one. Then comes the Zaha Hadith, the one I was mentioning to you about. See, see the curves she has created, not her curves, but these are the curves she has created. Asymmetrical steel arches form a wave-like design, which goes with the ambience of the sea waves, emerging from cantilever road decks on either side, and in this design for Huba, Dubai's Sheikh Zayed Bridge by Zaha. Then the last three or four slides. The architect believes that the bridge is a part of the major four-lane highway connecting Abu Dhabi Island with the mainland, and it will become a destination itself. It is currently under construction. Uh, then comes this architect, St. Val, created an ecologically fresh multiple-use bridge for Amsterdam, it's only on paper at the moment. Uh, latest, I don't know, the very latest. The primary materials of this bridge are wood, aluminium, and steel. So you can even use the surface of the bridge for art. St. Paul plays with different kinds of glass, which gives the bridge that futuristic ambience and also a fine view of the exterior. The structure is planned as a habitable one with narrow houses, modern buildings, a bike shop, a large mansion, and a garden. This very European bridge promotes merging of cultures and times, and here's the bridge. Another view. And the last one. It is therefore an undeniable professional responsibility of a good bridge engineer to know the culture and the subtle turning points that temper the development of the bridge craft and then reflect in order to carry forward such a wonderful legacy. Thank you. Session, if you have any questions, you can put up to Dr. Anna. Any questions? After a perfect presentation, it seems there's no question. So I'll request, sir, sir. Uh, Rana sir, his professor Ranjay Pandey. Ah, we I've been looking for you. Uh, <laughs> sir, sir. slides. Only bridge performance. Monitor, bridge, monitoring bridge performance I have right now with me. Complex, complex means... Uh, the story in the mall. <laughs> Everything is there. Yeah. And you want to monitor the health of the bridge. Not easy. Not easy. That goes up. How do you model the stresses, for example? 
that applies equally well to Ricardo Morani's bridges, which are very difficult to monitor. But then Ricardo Morani wants it, wants it, and that is done. It becomes a permanent headache for those who are looking after the bridge later. You are hundred percent right. But the, some of these later one, futuristic ones, they are extremely difficult. They need a whole lifetime. But they are something very special. Now this is what I was begging of you fellows here. Please let me come and show my. Because I am originated from here, you so and so. You don't let me. Because he kaha milega? मैं यही पीछे पड़ा था आपके आज सुबह इनसे बात हुई कहाँ क्या नाम सांगर नहीं सांगर टुडे ही वाज ऑल पानी पानी नहीं नहीं आप अपनी बुल बुल इशू है लेट आई सेड आई डोंट केयर अबाउट योर लेट है बट दिस हैज टू बी इट डोंट बोथर मी नो ही सेड एटलीस्ट थ्री लेक्चर्स पर ही आई सेड नो इट मे बी जीरो इट मे बी फिफ्टी लीव इट I mean things like um, climate change effect on the bridges. Now this is not exactly a regular topic, or ex accelerated construction of bridges, if possible, where possible, that, and uh, quite a few other similar topics which are very special, very different. Things like even estimating the safe bearing capacity of soil under caisson footings and piles. What we see generally and what we actually do in practice, there's a slight, there's a big difference. Now that. I want to lay threadbare open in front of these youngsters so that they are ready to invade the market and tell them we know better. And whether that is better or not, that's my responsibility. But you have to give me that. Sure. Any other questions?